Howdy ho folks. I'm here with a new addition to my weird and unusual creatures that reside here in Florida. And this particular little thing you're looking at is a horn span worm. And I'd have to say the caterpillar form of this little creature is much more interesting and intriguing looking than its adult form as a moth. But he's not really standing at attention too much the way they normally do. But he's got these little tiny like tentacles I guess you would call them and they move. They have a life of their own. I don't know if I can get them to move them or not. That's what I'm trying to do. Oh, there he goes. Great show, sir. I like it. Um, there's not really a whole lot I know about them. Or was there a whole lot that I was able to read about them? Or... Uh, other than typical scientific stuff, such as far as their scientific name and the family. Um, and I'll post all that a little bit further on. But I just wanted to catch a video of him while I could. And if I can get him to just... Oh, don't run away too much there, sir. Oh look, he's using his tentacles to move. That's kind of interesting. Come back, sir. I just want a good show with you. I didn't mean to offend you. But he's a very interesting little fellow. And, uh... All, all four of their little tentacles move. It's kind of like that they have an alien on their back. It's actually quite interesting. But I figure y'all would find this quite intriguing. And I will be glad to add more information in the bottom as I get it hi guys I wanted to come back and tell you a little more inf information about the horn span worm um, I was able to look up some information still was limited to what I was able to find out but I wanted to at least be able to give you some kind of background um, if you're able to find out anything else that is interesting please post it down below I would be very interested in learning more about it um, the horn span worm scientific name is Nemata compa ristosteria. Um, and it was formerly known as Neomata compa limbata. In 1993, it switched from limbata to risteria. But they're in the family of Sorry, I have to read it because I'm not really good at Latin. Um, Geo, G, Amatra, Day, Diamatra Day, and I'm gonna post all these up here so that way you can check them out for yourself. Cause Latin's not my thing. I screw it up all the time, but I'm trying. Um. And it's very important to know the Latin names 
whether you can say them or not is one thing, but at least to know them so that way you're not getting confused with other species that have the same common names. That's for plants or animals, so just putting that out there. Um, the little appendages that I was speaking about on their back is actually referred to as tentacles. Um, and when they're relaxed, they will curl up on their back. And when they get excited, they extend out about twice their length of their relaxed state. Um, it's also to be noted whenever I seen him extend his tentacles earlier in the video and I said that he was using them to walk, that's incorrect. It just was coincidence. Um, as he is moving, they were just at a stable, at a certain length and it just happened to be touching the ground the same time as he is inching away. Um, when I noticed these worms, it was at the later part of March, early part of April. I watched them for approximately five days. Uh, and they did not travel very much. In the area that I found them to where I went back and videoed him. Uh, I would say maybe a eight foot radius that they hung out. So they didn't travel very much, which I thought was kind of strange for caterpillars. Um, they feed on numerous trees and shrubs. Um, and that's to include, but not limited to pine trees, hemlocks, spruce, apples, apple trees, not the fruit apple, uh, maple, oaks, and such as that. Uh, I'm trying to read my notes because I didn't want to forget anything. Uh, oh, I did want to say that the uh, alien worm is much more interesting in its caterpillar state than the adult form of the moth. Uh, but the moth is quite interesting by itself. The moth kind of looks like a coffee stained map. Um, I'm posting a picture up here of first it will be the adult male. Uh, their coloring is a little more yellowish brown uh, and the female has more of a whitish background but their pattern is quite interesting but I still think the caterpillar form is more interesting but that's just my personal preference. So you might find both just as interesting um, and they're found throughout majority of the United States uh, except for California I don't remember what the other state was but it's on the western side um, I did not write that down for whatever reason but they do have a species that is very similar to it but it is called something else um, and I also wanted to say that the photos that I'm gonna have up here I will show them again they were graciously I'm sorry that was very loud and I had to check it out um, was, I was given permission, oh, saw some of my notes, I was given permission by Marcia O'Connor, I believe her name was, hopefully I got that right, if not, I'll edit that part out. Alright guys, 
that was really the only information I was able to gather up. So hopefully it was interesting. If so, and you like videos like this, please like, subscribe, share them. Whatever you can do would be great. I wanted to take a moment to share the photos of the horn span worm that I took over that five day observation. If you notice just how tiny this little critter was. By the way guys, keep on exploring. You never know what you'll find. Florida has aliens. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.